Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to add Stripe integration into your Flutterflow apps. Stripe is a service that allows you to accept payments in your app for the various goods and services you might be selling. So in order to get started, uh, just go to stripe.com and create an account if you don't already have one. Once all that's done and you've added all the necessary information, to get started integrating it in Flutterflow, you'll want to go to Developers. And right now, you can always accept payments in either test mode or live mode. I think for now, when you're getting started, you should go in test mode. And here, you'll be able to see on the left-hand side, your options will include API keys. So this is the first thing that you'll need to add to Flutterflow. Here, you can see your publishable key, uh, which we will copy. And now in Flutterflow, we'll need to go to Settings, Integrations, Stripe Payments, and Enable Stripe Payments. So this is the configuration that you'll need. So we have our test credentials, which is what we'll add now, production credentials when you're ready to actually go live with payments, as well as some additional settings like merchant display name, which is necessary, merchant country code, which is necessary, and Apple Merchant ID if you choose to enable Apple Pay. So what we want to add here is the test publishable key. So we'll paste that in right here. And we'll go back to our Stripe dashboard. We'll go here and click Reveal Test Key. Copy it. And paste it in in the secret key field. Finally, we'll need to add our merchant display name, which for now, which will be sniff social for us. Merchant country code. So we'll say the United States for now and Apple Merchant ID we'll get to later in the video. So the next step here is to deploy the necessary cloud functions. So before this step, make sure that you've configured Firebase in your project, as well as adding all the necessary configuration to deploy cloud functions. So once all that's done, we'll hit deploy. Once that's deployed, uh, we're all good on the config side. Now all that's left to do is to enable Apple Pay and to show you how to actually perform Stripe payment actions in Flutterflow. So let's add a test action for payment in our app. So we'll go to Actions on Tap and you'll see here in the drop down if you have everything configured, Stripe payment. So the Stripe payment requires a few different configurations. So you need the amount, of course. Well, one thing to note is that the amount here should be in your currency's smallest unit. So maybe we'll put in 2099. So next we need to specify what currency we, it should be. In our case, we'll just put USD. Uh, the other necessary thing is to add the customer email. This is your user's email that they'll receive the receipts from and in addition, it'll allow them to save payment methods for future use in your app. So in most cases, this will be the authenticated user email, although this may vary by app. Customer name is optional, but can be nice for your records. A description of this transaction. Again, not necessary, but recommended for your records and for your users records. And then finally, a few different configurations. Do you want to allow Google Pay, Apple Pay? We'll check both of these for now. And a few theme options. So do you want the payment sheet to be light theme, dark theme, or the system default? We'll just put dark theme for now, for fun. And the primary button color. So this is like the purchase button on the payment sheet. So maybe we want it to be our secondary app color. And that's all there is to it we have successfully configured a Stripe payment here. And now the only last step is to configure Apple Pay. After that, everything should pretty much just work. So the first step to configuring Apple Pay is to go into your developer account and create a merchant identifier. So check merchant ID, continue, give a brief description. And the identifier will be merchant 
followed by your bundle name. Continue and register. So the next step is in your apps identifier, make sure that Apple Pay is successfully configured. So we'll go to the Apple Pay capability, tap configure, and associate it with uh, the merchant account that we just created. Continue and save. All right, okay, so only one more step now. We'll need to go to the Stripe dashboard. Again, in settings, payment methods, go to Apple Pay and hit configure. So for, to enable Apple Pay, we need an iOS certificate. So we'll create a new certificate, which will automatically download a signing request file for you. You'll click the link to this page on the Apple Developer Center, where you'll create the certificate. So we'll go here, we'll tap this merchant, and then we'll hit this button, create certificate. So no, continue. And then here we'll choose the file that we just downloaded. Hit continue. And finally hit download. And we'll have downloaded our payment certificate that we can now go back to Stripe, continue and upload this certificate right here. And hit submit. And with that, we are done. We have successfully configured Stripe payments and integrated it into our Flutterflow app. And here is a sneak peek of what that actually looks like. So now we'll actually run our app. We'll tap on the sniff button to trigger the payment. And we can add some fake credit card information to trigger a test payment. Notice that we can check save this card for future payment so that the customer will be able to reuse that card whenever they make another purchase in your app. And if we tap payment again, you'll see that that payment method was indeed saved and we can reuse it. Finally, you'll notice that you can actually use Apple Pay as well. And that's all there is to it. We've successfully added Stripe payments to our Flutterflow app. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.